After waiting 218 days, 8-month-old Elodie Carmen Baker received a new heart last week. Elodie, who was diagnosed with a rare heart disease called dilated cardiomyopathy at around 2 months old, spent over 200 days on the wait list for a heart. Finally, on March 27, she underwent a successful transplant at the Heart Center at Lurie Children's Hospital in Chicago. The fortitude and the strength that she's shown in the last seven months constantly amazes us. And we know that she's destined to do remarkable things, Elodie's mom, Kate Baker, told USA Today. We're just so proud of her. Just, her, smile and the joy, just unwavering excitement for every single day, really, it's inspirational, added Colin Baker, Elodie's dad. She has made it just so much easier to keep fighting every day. Dr. Anna June, one of Elodie's doctors and the medical director of the Pediatric Ventricular Assist Device Program at Lurie Children's, shared that Elodie's recovery has been remarkable. She's made incredible progress. Her new heart works really well, the squeeze is really strong. She's on all the routine medications that we do, like immunosuppression to prevent rejection. And we're hoping that she will be able to be discharged from the hospital soon, Jung told USA Today. The Bakers, who are from Minnesota, first took LED to the emergency room in August, where their daughter was later diagnosed with dilated cardiomyopathy. After a seven-week stay at Children's Minnesota Hospital Minneapolis, LED was transferred to Lurie Children's in Chicago for further care leading the family to live in the hospital together for almost six months. According to the American Heart Association, dilated cardiomyopathy causes the heart muscle to dilate and a chamber to enlarge, leading to difficulty when pumping blood and preventing the heart muscle from contracting normally. As the heart becomes weaker, it's possible for heart failure to occur. As LED waited for a new heart, a Berlin Score pediatric ventricular assist device was surgically placed to help her pump blood. Jung explained that while some children with dilated cardiomyopathy can see improvement over time, others become sicker and need additional support, like four medications or a VOD. Older kids can sometimes go home with VODs while they wait for a new heart, but for infants like ALOD, the pump can't fit inside their bodies. She had end-stage heart failure as a result of her dilated cardiomyopathy, said June. We had exhausted all medical options to take care of her heart, and the only way for LOD to survive was to get this kind of pump as a way to bridge her to transplant. To keep her body strong enough in the many months that it took for a donor heart that was a match for LOD, too, become available.